In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing to you how to become a faster and more efficient editor by utilizing tools like the Ripple Edit tool, Ripple Trim, Ripple Deleting, and how this technique can really benefit you in deleting a bunch of gaps on your timeline, as well as the Rolling Edit tool. So let me start off with a scenario. I have a clip here on the timeline where I just want to isolate the part where the pigeon is taking off and exiting frame. Now what you normally might do is use the selection tool to move both sides of the clip and find your in and out points. Then move all of the clips that are surrounding that one clip and tidy everything up. All of these actions could get 10 times faster if you use something called the ripple edit tool. Now notice how this cursor turns into a yellow bracket with an arrow around edit points, which is a little different than that red cursor that we're accustomed to. With the ripple edit tool, whenever you move the left or right handles of a clip, the adjacent clips to the clip that you're working with automatically move and are shuffled outward or inward according to however you are adjusting your clip. The ripple edit tool is very powerful and I assume the engineers at Adobe know this so they've made it available to you through your selection tool with a modifier key. So if we were to hit V, bring back up the selection tool, and then if you are around any edit point and you hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows, that automatically turns your cursor into the ripple edit tool or the rolling edit tool, which we'll get into here in a second, depending upon how far the cursor is from your edit point. Once you release command, then your cursor turns back into the normal selection tool. Personally, with my workflow, I find it much easier and faster to always have this modifier key engaged. That way, you don't have to hit command or control to get to the ripple edit or rolling trim tool while you're utilizing the selection tool. That's possible by going up to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Trim, and then select the box that says, Allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple trims without modifier key. Now the default for how your selection tool acts has flipped. It acts as the ripple or rolling edit tool. If you need to access how the selection tool used to work, all you have to do is hold command on Mac or control on Windows, and you'll see the red bracket with one arrow. One thing that may get a little weird when using the ripple edit tool is sometimes it may not work because you're trying to move a clip and the clips that are above and below it won't allow it to move and shift the clips how it needs to. So you just have to watch out for that. So we've been talking about ripple editing and the ripple edit tool, but let me showcase to you what I think is one of the fastest and game changing ways to edit in Premiere Pro. And it has to do with ripple trim previous edit to playhead and ripple trim next edit to playhead. It's on the keystrokes Q and W on the default settings within Adobe Premiere Pro. Going back to this pigeon clip, let's find where we want the endpoint to be. Now I'm gonna hit Q, boom. Everything I just showed you with the ripple edit tool cursor, I did with a keyboard with one stroke. By deleting everything in front of that playhead all the way up to the previous trim point. Now let's go to where the pigeon goes out of frame and trim everything in between the playhead to the next trim point. This one takes a little bit getting used to, but trust me, it's one of the most powerful techniques that you can learn in Premiere Pro. Just in case you're on the fence about utilizing Ripple Delete, let me show you this one technique of if you have a whole bunch of gaps on your timeline and how you can delete all of those gaps with one click. So before we were talking about ripple trim, and this is ripple deleting. So that means in these gaps here, all I'm doing is highlighting and hitting delete on the keyboard. This also could be done if you were to right click and hit ripple delete. But to get rid of all of these gaps at the same time, we're gonna throw in kind of a dummy video layer, or in this case, I'm gonna go to the bin and make an adjustment layer. Drag that on top of all of your gaps, go over to our link selection, unlink it, highlight all of the top clips, Hit option up on Mac or alt up on Windows. That puts the clips on the next layer above. Then hit option down or alt down to nudge your clips back down. Highlight all of the adjustment layer that's in between all the clips. Right click and hit ripple delete. Boom, yaka shot, there you go. And don't forget to turn your link selection back on after you're done with this whole process. If this has been helpful so far, could you give me a thumbs up on the video? And let's go ahead and dive into the rolling edit tool. In the toolbar, if you click and hold where the ripple edit tool is, we can select the rolling edit tool, which simply put allows you to click and drag and roll or move the edit point between two adjacent clips, which is pretty powerful if you just need to make minute adjustments between two clips. The rolling edit tool really comes in handy when 
and mixing audio. I have a whole tutorial on this where it's a different way of thinking in creating your audio levels inside Premiere Pro. So instead of using keyframes to manipulate your audio, you just create cuts in between the fluctuations in your audio levels and adjust those. I'll link that tutorial right here if you're interested. Another neat thing about the rolling edit tool is you can select an edit point and hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click the arrow keys to move by frames that edit point. This doesn't just work for a single edit point. You can highlight multiple edit points by clicking and dragging over cuts or hold shift while you're selecting all those different edit points. Now you're able to adjust multiple edit points if you use your option and arrow keys. If you're unhappy with the edit points that you've created, if there's no skipping of frames between the edit points, you can highlight all of your edit points and hit delete and that will get rid of the edit points for you. This is the second video in a series about how to utilize all of the tools on the toolbar in Premiere Pro. If you want to learn about the right stretch tool and speed ramping, that will be the next video. Or you could click on this video, which is another video from the series. I do gear reviews and video tech tutorials on this channel. If you're into that, hit the subscribe button. And until you click on one of those other videos, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.